Hello everyone, welcome to the House of Arts. For today's tutorial, we're gonna be teaching you guys how to paint some flowers. In front of me, we have some materials we're gonna be using throughout the video. First off, we have some paint brushes, a bowl of water to clean your paintbrush, somewhere to put your paint, um, and paper, any kind of paper will do. I'll be using a drawing pad today. We will also need some paint, and you guys can choose your own paints and your own colors. Now in front of us, we're gonna have a pre-made painting of the flowers. I went ahead and did it for you guys so you guys can have an example. Now, our first step is taking out the piece of paper. We're gonna head and put the painting aside and we're gonna focus on the white piece of paper. And we're gonna take out the first material we're gonna be using, which is the paintbrush. Um, you guys can choose any paint, any brush. Uh, now we're gonna take out the paint. So I choose again the red and the pink. And don't forget also the green for the stem. And now we're gonna put those aside for right now and we're gonna focus on the white paper. We are gonna go ahead and grab our palette or whichever uh, medium you use you use to put your paint on. And we are gonna hit we're gonna go ahead and start our painting. Uh wait, don't forget, we're also gonna be using the color yellow for our buds. Okay, now that you have all your colors, put them aside. And we're gonna go ahead and grab our paintbrush. And preferably to be a thinnish uh, paintbrush with a thin uh, tip. And we're gonna go ahead and grab some yellow color and we're gonna create our first shape. So our first shape is gonna be an oval type of shape and we're gonna start off with the corner of the paper and we're just gonna do the oval shape. We are gonna go ahead and spread them throughout the paper. You choose your location, as many flowers as you wanna make. Now that we are done with our first uh, couple of butts, we're gonna go ahead and grab the water and we're gonna clean our paintbrush. Now that it is uh, clean, we have to have a cloth or a piece of paper to clean our hands and our paintbrush. Now we're gonna choose our next color. So we're gonna start off now with the uh, petals of the flower and we're gonna be creating them facing down. So our flower is facing up and the petals are going down. So now we're gonna start from the tip of the bud, we're gonna bring it down and then back up again, also creating a little shape, but longer. And we're gonna go ahead and put another one next to the first petal. And we're gonna do the same thing to the other side. And then to the other side. And finally, we're gonna have our shape of a flower. There you go, guys. We have our first flower. Now we are gonna go ahead and do it for the rest of the buds. Once we have finished the red color, we're gonna go ahead and continue with the second color. Um, I chose pink. And now we're gonna do the same thing we did for the first flowers for the rest of the buds. We have our pink flowers done now and we're gonna create the stem using the green color. So we're gonna get some green color and we're gonna start off with the very tip of the petals. So we're gonna press it down and then we're gonna bring it down. There you go. And then we're gonna create the, the leaf. So we're gonna do it, we're gonna do it start from a inch apart from the stem and we're gonna bring it to the stem and then the other line and then close it in. And we're gonna do the rest of the flowers like that. There 
you go guys you have created your first flowers now if you guys want to add a little bit more details on your flowers to look more realistic we're going to go ahead and add little dots to our buds so we're going to go ahead and get the color brown we're going to pour some down on our palette and we're going to grab some with our paintbrush but remember guys just the very tip because we want to create little dots now once we have our brown color on the tip of our paintbrush we're going to choose one flower and we're going to lightly press it down on our paper make sure not to press it hard because then it's going to create a bigger circle now we're going to do the rest of those dots on the rest of the flowers your flowers now have more detail guys um, now that we're done with our flowers we will do our last step and it is signing your artwork go ahead and get a black color and with the tip of your uh, paintbrush we're gonna go to the bottom right corner and go ahead and put your own signature and there you go guys your painting is done thank you for watching